Hi guys, it's Lady Red Shoes, and in this video, I want to talk about staying yourself and being who you are. Okay, um, everyone has insecurities. Um, you're not the only one. So every video, every video I do, I'm always sitting down. So I figure with this video, in order to get through to you, I should show you who I am. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right. This is who I am. I am a plus size woman. And also, my BMI indicates that I'm obese. Not overweight, but obese. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. But being who I am and being who I am physically makes me who I am mentally and emotionally. I am a woman with insecurities. I don't like my stomach, I don't like my thighs, I think my ears are too big, I think my arms are too fat, I think my butt sit too high. It's a whole bunch. I have a long list of things that I want to change about myself. But I won't because this is what makes me who I am. It's what attracts people to me. It's what gets me on every day. It's being myself. And I won't be that funny person or that happy person singing all the time because if I change myself it's going to eventually change my personality so with that being said for you if you have to change yourself to attract a person or people to you that means that there wasn't attract to you in the first place because you have to change yourself in order to attract them and when you have to when you live your life trying to attract people or a person or police people, you're going to live a miserable life. You give them a yard, they want a mile. So, it's, 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 it's just funny. People are never going to change. That's why you shouldn't. Why should you? This is who I am. This is who I'm going to be. This is what makes me me. Well, that was a rhyme, huh? I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Alright, but I'm saying, like, for the men and women who are trying to change their self to get attention of a female or male, it's pointless. Don't do it because in the end, they weren't attracted to you from the beginning. And you don't know, but there are so many people out and about around the world, around wherever you live, who are watching you, who you don't know that are watching you and that may like you, may like, really truly like you, but don't know what to say or how to say it. And it may be that person who you're closest to, who you're always complaining to, saying, oh my God, he don't like me or she don't like me and I want to do this and I want to do that. And that, it may be that person that you're talking to, who you're just pulling your feelings out on, who just may actually really like you, but they can't really say anything because your insecurities are just like too much. And... To them, you're that perfect person, but you're so secure with yourself, they don't even know where to start. Like, I know for a fact, I don't want anyone insecure. Point blank. Like, it's okay to have your insecurities, but to be insecure is a totally different thing. For you to come complaining to me, oh, hon, my belly's too big, and oh, my God, my thighs are too big, and who is that you're calling? Who is he? And I, oh, my God, no, no way. Who wants that? Nobody. Just the same as a male want a female. Hun, my stomach is too big. My thighs are too fat. Da -da 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 -da. My head is too small. Who is that you were talking to? I heard you on the phone with somebody. You have a girl texting you and she said, hey, what's up? It could have been his, his friend. Like, who wants a person insecure like that? If they're with you, they are with you. If they are, faith, if they are in relationship with you, they chose you. Accept that. And nothing else. You don't you don't be insecure or get mad until you actually catch that person in the act. If you catch him out, out and about or her out and about with somebody holding hand in hand, then you have the right, the God given right, to cut up and act a fool. I'm sorry, it's just me. Or you can just be civilized and walk away and just cut his stuff by the door or you're them about your phone, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now they're breaking up over Facebook. Who would never thought? I'm going to send you a message and say, hey, forget about it, Facebook. Anyway, I'm just saying, stay who you are for you, and it's for your better good, it's for you, 
you are the perfect person. Get that through your head. You are the perfect person. You have some kind of talent. You just don't. You have to sit down and figure out what it is. People know you more than you know yourself. People can describe you better than you can describe yourself. Because somebody say, well, what are you like? Well, I'm like, I like, I like, um, see, I can't imagine that my own self. I, I don't know what I'm like. Only person that can answer that are people that are surrounded by me half the time. But with all that being said, stay who you are. Stay you. Don't change yourself for someone else. It's okay to change for yourself. You want to lose 10 pounds for a summertime and you want to look good in a bikini? That's you. You can change that for yourself. But if you say, I'm going to lose 20 pounds so so-and-so can realize who I am and he's going to like me, don't do it because it's not going to end well. It's really not. So, subscribe me if you haven't. And if you have, thank you. Also, have a safe and wonderful day. Bye.